Wham presents In Sync in Concert, sponsored by Oxy Ballet. I have two favorites, Lance and Justin. And why? Well, Justin's really cute, and so is Lance. <laughs> now, when I say it, you say sing. It, it. When I say it, you say sing. It, it. They're such great inspirations to us, and they, they're amazing. They're amazing. They're all so cute, and JC is like the best. The songs, I love the songs. I'm a Brazilian girl, and I came here just to see them. We love you. We love you because of their music and the way they make us feel. We're just awesome. They're so hot in their best boy band. It's like you're, it takes about you're hour. speeding. It's, it's crazy. It takes about an hour, hour and a half for me to come down after we're off stage because you're, you're still so excited. Your adrenaline was pumping so hard that it's like, okay, I got to chill out. I got to chill out. It's like an hour and a half action-packed show. You run to the bus. You get on the bus, and you're standing there. The weird part is you're so <laughs> tired Dude, after stop. a show because you, not only are you physically drained, but you're emotionally drained because when you go out there, you, you, do, you put everything into it. So when you get off the bus, you're like, I'm just going to crash in. I'm going to fall out. But the problem is you still have endorphins running through your body, so you're like this. I can't move. Maybe I'll watch a movie. But I'm really sleepy. Tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Yeah. But I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird. Every day. Every day, you know, it's like... But every, every day, every day I'm just like, wow. I think uh, wow would be the main word to describe our career, you know? Um... Sometimes you just step back and you say, wow. Yeah, I mean, every night you go on a stage, you say, wow, because, I mean, it's, it's weird. I mean, uh, you don't realize how many people, I mean, just in one night, you could talk to 20,000 people at one time. You have 20,000 people's undivided attention for an hour and a half. That's one of the things that I always say wow about. You know, it's amazing how we have such an impact on people. Every day, you know, I think every day, all of us just sit back and we're just like, you know, what is this? What's happened? You know, it's so crazy that all this has happened so fast and it's such a big, you know, to such a big extent. You know, I will be on stage and just sit there and just look out going, when did this all happen? You know, I mean, we've worked for it so hard and so long and it's just like it instantly, you know, just kind of sprung up on you. Anthony, take me up in the air with the camera. <laughs> 
Disney cartoon, dude. Rad. <laughs> I'm kind of cuter as a cartoon. Yes, now I can finally get my hair redone. <laughs> Sounds like... Ready? I mean, the, the day is just, it's, it's jam-packed. Right after sound check, we go to meet and greet. That goes on for about an hour or so. After meet and greet, then we Dinner. eat whenever we can. Then we go into our room, start getting focused for the show. The five of us are together. We have like a like an hour of quiet time where no one else is in the dressing room. That's when we really get focused. We kick around the hacky sack. You know, everybody has to, to kick around it and can't touch the floor. Everybody has to hit it. And that's kind of like a little ritual that we have for every tour ever since we started doing tours around Europe and here now. And then we go and we go with the band, the crew, you know, everybody, wardrobe, hair and makeup, everybody, even sometimes the opening acts will stand there, hold each other's hands in a circle, do a prayer, give each other's hugs, and we get out there and we do the show. Coming to Direct Ticket, Wham! presents In Sync In Concert, sponsored by OxyBalance. In the first television broadcast of their current concert tour, In Sync In Concert, September 11th. Right here on Direct TV. When you run out on the stage and you just hear that roar, it's incredible. Incredible. There's nothing like performing live. It's the chance where you get to see thousands of your fans at one moment. The energy they throw to you during a performance, you know, you throw back, you know, three times as much. People ask us, man, how do you dance and sing and run around that stage for an hour and a half? And I just say, man, if you were out there and you saw the fans, how much they love it, how much they get into it, that's what keeps you going for an hour and a half straight. Jess will be like, all right, now you guys sing. And he'll, you know, have the mic out, and all of a sudden, the, the whole audience will be singing. They're like, cool. It's like, it's a, such a great feeling. I want you to sing this song with me right now. Can this be true? Tell me, can this be me? The good thing about them is we didn't put them together. They put themselves together and came to us. So they created the chemistry and the magic that happens amongst the five of them. Everybody's in this for, for the same reason, which is, you know, because they because we wanted to do this, because this is where we wanted to take this. set our shows up and when we start designing how the show's going to look we, we think about that person in the very back so that's why like all our choreography is so big that's why a lot of the stuff we do we spread out and try to use the whole stage and we can make sure that that person in the back is having just as much fun as that person in the front row
all the shows that I've always enjoyed watching and stuff like that have always been performance shows and have always been dancing and high energy and everything like that. And that's absolutely what this show is about. It's creative. It's got a lot of cool ideas that we've all incorporated. We make up our own show. Everything about this show has been dreamt up right here. We're having the ride of our lives, and we're, you know, enjoying every minute of it. And I mean, the cool thing is, I get to do this with, you know, four of my friends. Coming to Direct Ticket, Wham presents In Sync in Concert, sponsored by OxyBalance. Party with today's hottest group. In sync, in concert, September 11th, only on direct tickets. Lance, Lance is probably is the best, best with business. And Joey's the worst. Joey's with definitely the worst. worst. I think Joey it. spends all his money as soon as he gets it. No, I don't. <laughs> yes. Actually, I have. No, he doesn't spend it, he loses it. He loses it. <laughs> he loses it for gambling, though. <laughs> I'm the best. Worst. I'm the best. Worst. What are you talking about? I'm the best. Dude, you driver. scare me when you get in the car. I'm in the middle. I go, I go sometimes Joey's careless. Joey, Joey's, Joey's the worst. And Joey's had an I'll accident the first time he had his car. Yeah, Joey uses the force Back when he drives. The pole. He doesn't drive with his eyes I think open. I couldn't the see it. Because he's slow. Yeah. But he's I don't drive slow. I'm saying he's. I didn't Lance, say he was the Lance best. Lance is pretty person. bad. When he, when you were back I home, get distracted when you were back home, yeah. I was like this. Lance is looking at stuff on the side of the road. He's talking on his phone. He's playing with the radio. It's always either the cell phone or the like radio. I'm just like, and then he said, "Oh, you gotta hear this that. song. I got this thing. Check this out." Do we have to Joey. say it? Joey, really? Do we have to say it? Yeah. Joey. Joey. The thing that's tough about sharing a room with Joey is he's he's like out late all the time. Uh, he's kind of a mess. And yeah, yeah, you can definitely count on him. If you share a room with Joe, you can definitely count on him waking you up at 4 o'clock in the he morning to some club. Yeah. yeah. Chris is Joe, good about picking music, that's for sure. Joey's worse with the remote. Does that count? Oh, yeah. I have to beat him on the head sometimes because there's two TVs in the front and the back. There's the so many channels to and choose from. And, the, and the plays, <laughs> it can only play like one. It only get one satellite feed. Hold on, I'm ripping on you, Joe. Oh, sorry. There's, a, there's only one satellite feed. Have you noticed like half these have been Joey's been the worst? <laughs> I, I told you. Didn't I tell you you're going to be the worst for everything? And he'll sit there and he'll start, he'll play like not even five minutes of a movie. <laughs> it'll be like, it'll get like, really good right as it gets good. It <laughs> turns it off. I think I do that on purpose just to piss everybody <laughs> off. I get the worst because I can't do it because I don't remember. Half like, half hey, did you hear about the? Uh, did you hear about the thing where the thing happened? I'm like, okay, yeah. no, you like remember that joke? <laughs> Lance's like, hey, there's this joke about. Hey, Justin, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there wasn't a question about who gets the jokes last. <laughs> That's right. That could be one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, who gets jokes last? I get JC. the jokes last. Jo oh, yeah, JC's okay. the worst. JC was always that kid in school where you're trying to tell a secret across the room and you'd be like this, hey, JC. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your mom did that to you? Joey's the best? Yeah, Joey's and the, the worst. Best. Joey's the best. Joey's the, the best and the worst, actually. Yeah. And Joey's the best and the worst. With See, I'll talk to them nice and then I'll screw it up by saying something. <laughs> now, stupid. are we going for quality? Like, I just talk to your sister. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going for quality or quantity? Quantity's best, quality's worst. worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honest. Get out of here. <laughs> no, we're just messing with truth. Up. But he really is the best. He's the best. Yeah, he's, he, a, he's, he's, he's definitely, his first impressions for women are, he's on point. Joey's a ladies' man, so he can't just. Be with one person. I try. Every girl is considered a girlfriend in my book. It's all you fans out, fans See? out there. Oh my there he God. is, trying to milk it. All right, I suck. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say best of worst dancer. Different Everybody's styles. got their own style. Yeah. You know when they dance. Because so. he's smooth and I'm hyper. And I'm in the middle. And he's... <laughs> Hammy. Yeah. Yeah. Do do <laughs> how do you how do you can you dance hammy? Because you, you dance with you your do face, it. dude. You right? do it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Joey's like this in the crowd. Yeah. No, but as far as like dancing, like if you're at no, a Joey club, gets the, freestyle. Joey's dancing. Exactly. I, no, that's an, that's the club face. That's the club face. When he's on stage, it's like See, this. Why did you have to go here? Now everybody gonna be picking on. In the Joey club, he's like this. 
I know all about Joey. He sucks at this. He's bad at that. He's the worst cook. He can't dance for crap. <laughs> he doesn't tell good jokes. And they don't tell good jokes. We call Joey Dancer Face. We're I think we're all pro professional yeah, travelers. We're, we're we've had to be. Veterans. Yeah. And we love to travel. That was a bad question. We're packed and out the wow. door in like five minutes. <laughs> we can Who asked the worst questions? <laughs> Coming to Direct Ticket, Wham! presents In Sync In Concert, sponsored by OxyBalance. The music event of the year. If you want it, we got it. Just for you, September 11th. In Sync In Concert, coming to Direct Ticket. We were in your monitors instead of using wedges on the stage. Because the crowds are so loud. The crowds are so loud, so yeah. it's better to block out the noise and then hear the music. You have your own mix, you have your own blend of stuff. Let's go. Let's go do it. Our emphasis is on our vocals. I mean, we're a vocal harmony group, and we it's like our voices are our instruments. So right now we'd like to start this next song with a little five-part harmony and then go into this song. I think a dream, maybe. I know of mine, personally, would be to probably be a part of a song that could live on for a very, very long time. Not just in like, you know, one, one year, but like maybe span into a whole nother decade and cross over into a whole nother generation. JC um, is, I guess, the intellectual one. I always collect a lot from what JC has to has to say about about things. He's sleepy. He likes to sleep a lot. On stage, he's definitely the wildest one, which if you if you knew him and hung out with him every day, you would never think that because he's so laid back and, you know, sleeps a lot. <laughs> but I guess he's just saving up his energy. With with JC, um it's also a very musical experience. He's really into the writing the music really 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 strongly into that we write well together I love if I've got some ideas for a song going to him about it and he gets hooks he's really good at making up hooks if he could have his own studio and his own time I don't think he would come out of there for months you know he's doing the same thing I am he's traveling with his keyboard and some programs that he writes with so I think recording and sleeping would be the best thing he's pretty much quiet um, you know, he'll, he'll sit back and watch things, but on the other hand, 50% of the time, he's just crazy. Lance is the... He's not really that shy. People say he is, but I mean, especially for us, we know he's not. Lance is, uh, well, he's laid back, uh, very easy to talk to. Lance is definitely very business-minded. He's got a great head on his shoulders. He's always thinking about this, that. He's trying to stay one step ahead. I've actually gone to Lance about some things because he knows his way around. He knows a lot of real important people. He has actually two singers. He has his own kind of management companies co-managing with our manager, Johnny Wright. Lance, um, it's always, me and Lance are closer to age, so there's more of a just an understanding, you know, because we're still, we're not as old as the other guys, so we're still learning a lot. We don't know as, as much as they do. Even back home, he's just that, that guy that everybody would go over to his house, you know, to hang out. It's hard, it's hard not to like Lance. Justin is just very talented in almost everything he does, which makes me sick. Justin, Justin is 
is mostly the athletic kind of one. He's athletic. Sports, you know, he's great in sports. Grew up very fast from when he did the Mickey Mouse Club until now and everything. You know, he's super talented. He'll listen to one song on the radio, like one time, and know every word to it. I'm like, how do you do that? It's just like, how do you do that, you know? Justin's like the beat guy. Justin's got great, a great ear for, you know, sounds. You know, he's a great writer. He's the kind of guy who can get along with anybody. He's really, really good, really focused on stuff. He's funny, he's easygoing, but yet he can go out and party with the rest of them. Um, he's probably, you know, he's, he's probably a little bit of everybody. Chris is the crazy one. Chris is the crazy, nutty, wacky kind of guy. Chris is uh, our energy ball. A little psychotic at times, <laughs> but it's fun. You know, he keeps, he keeps it very interesting on tour. He's always up and about, and he always has to do something. He's very fidgety when it comes to sitting down. If he was probably sitting down, he was probably moving around, you know, shaking his leg, picking up his dog, petting him, you know, putting him down. With Chris, it's always a good time. It's always, you know, do you want to go and, and, and work on music? Do you want to go play ball? Do you want to... It's always a fun time with me and Chris. As far as uh, coming up with ideas, he's always popping them off one after the other. Pow, pow. He's very creative with stuff, you know, he's starting his own clothing line. If we're working really hard and tired and down, you know, he'll always bring it up. He's a great icebreaker for a lot of people. He's just a good person to be around. He's a good people person. Joey's our, uh... <laughs> Joey, Joey's the flirty one. <laughs> he's flirty spice. Joey's our comedian uh, as far as... See, Chris is more a deliberate comedian. Joey does it by accident. Joey just falls into it somehow. <laughs> he's a little bit clumsy with things. Uh, you know, he's very outgoing and, and stuff like that. Always in a good mood. Um, I never see him down. He always looks at everything in the most brilliant light. Like, he can make a, a gray day a sunny day. It's wild. Joey's definitely in the clubber. Joey goes out a lot. I used to go out a lot with him. But now I have responsibilities of a puppy. <laughs> I can always... Always go out to a club with Joey and have a good time. I'll always go to the movies with Joey and have a good time. He's all about having fun. I think Joey's greatest uh, attribute, though, um, is his charisma. Coming to Direct Ticket, Wham! presents In Sync In Concert, sponsored by OxyBalance. In the first television broadcast of their current concert tour, In Sync In Concert, September 11th. Right here on Direct TV. People always say to me, oh, you know, it must be so awesome to be in sync. And I, and I say, listen, I'm there firsthand. I said, as far as the schedule goes, with the fans, with the, you know, rehearsal time, recording, the shows, all that stuff, the, an unbelievable respect for in sync and for everyone else that has done it before them. Well, the first thing I bought was a uh, Mercedes. <laughs> so, well, that was the dream. The first thing I bought, I guess, was um, a house. I bought a car. I treated myself to a vacation. And then I bought myself a car. And that's basically it. You know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big spender. I'm not into uh, a lot of stuff just yet. Waiting. Soon I'm going to be buying a house, which I'm real happy about. You know, something that... I can call my own home. I'm still actually living with my parents just because I'm never home. I mean, I don't really buy a lot. When, when it came to getting money, you know, I'm not into jewelry or into, you know, nice cars or even houses. I actually still have the apartment I lived in two years ago. It's good for me to know that I have the funds to, to support my family because, I, you know, I'm taking care of my parents now. They've taken care of me for almost, you know, two decades, so I'm going to take care of them now. and and take care of the rest of my family. Mom, Dad, now it's time to get out of the house. I think I'm old enough. Coming to Direct Ticket, Wham! presents In Sync In Concert, sponsored by OxyBalance. Party with today's hottest group. In Sync In Concert, September 11th, only on Direct Ticket.
everybody kind of holds their own standard of success and what they want their success to be. And uh, uh, I think we've always been about just doing what we've always done. From the beginning, we've just wanted to make music. We've wanted to entertain people. I just, you know, give my thanks to God that he's, he's watched over all five of us and, and kept us, you know, with good heads on our shoulders and, and able to handle everything so well. We've been really close all the way through it and I think that's what's kept us going and, the, and the, what keeps us grounded with everything. You know, we were real blessed and real fortunate with everything that happened to us. We love every minute of it because we're very hard workers and um, that's all it takes, you know, is hard work and dedication and I think you can really achieve anything you want. If you want it that bad, it could happen. And that's what, the, and it was cool because all five of us wanted it. All of us wanted to have that hunger. We wanted that to be performing on stage. We wanted to have a hit song. We wanted to have a hit album. We wanted to at least make a million copies, hopefully, to sell. And thank goodness we now we're up to seven million. So it's like unbelievable for us. It's like something that we didn't think that was ever going to happen. You know, I thank God every day that, you know, it's happened. The hard work and the hunger and the dedication, that's what really pays off and makes it all worthwhile in later years to come to show your kids and your family. Well, Justin's mom took the last letter of the first name, N for Justin right there, S for Chris, uh, Y for Joey, N for Lanson, which is like his middle name, and then C for J JC. <laughs> crazy fans but you know what everybody out there is a fan of somebody and would probably go to the limit for somebody out there for them to show us love like that it makes us want to you know give it ten times more yeah we are kind of giving away everything in the show this paper dude that's it you guys can't hear anymore zip it you can't give it away anymore zip it good you know why because in order to see it you gotta get it It's all going to stop, and I hope it doesn't. You are watching Direct TV.
This program has not been rated by the Motion Picture Association of America. In sync, in concert. Sponsored by Oxy
Hey, Mr. K. Tunes, what do you say we slow this one out a little bit? Let's make it special for all these lovely Florida ladies. And for all you beautiful people at home, you see, the next song we're gonna do 
is a love song. And this song is called For the Girl Who Has Everything. You see, my problem is, it just seems like every one of these beautiful ladies in here tonight, well, they just seem to have everything already. But I can think of two things that you may or may not have in your life. The very first thing being a very special word is called love. Now, the second thing that I know you don't have is a seat right up here on the stage. But what we're going to do is we're going to dedicate this song to a lucky few of you out there. And all you beautiful people out there and at home, it's called For the Girl Who Has Everything. Enjoy it.
the 60s. The American music scene is rocked by a British invasion. Miniskirts, pop art, and the Fab Four lead the way. Woo! Bell bottoms and platform shoes were the rage. A family from Gary, Indiana reshaped the music scene with their ABCs and 123s.
yuppies, music videos, and excess partying brand a decade of celebration. All right, Fort Lauderdale. Are you guys ready for a celebration? Well, let me hear you scream. Here we go. There's a party going on right here A celebration to last throughout the year So bring your good times and your laughter too We go celebrate and party with you Come on, Florida! Celebration We go celebrate and have a good time Celebrate and have a good time It's time to come together It's up to you What's the operation? Trim becomes a movement as vocal and dance bands drive their fans around the world crazy. I wanna, I wanna rock with you. Gonna, gonna make it true. I wanna, I wanna rock with you. I'm crazy for you.
Well, just to let you know, we are filming today. And uh, we thought, what better place to do our first national TV show of this portion than our home state of Florida? So right now, we would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys here tonight and each and every one of you guys at home for coming out and for watching us. Thank you very, very much. Because without you guys, there is no us, and we deeply appreciate that. But well, speaking of Florida, a few years ago, the five of us lived up in Orlando, and we decided to get together and form a little group. And when we first got together, we used to do a lot of a cappella singing. And if you don't know what a cappella singing is, that's just our voices, no band, no track, no nothing behind us, just five-part harmonies. Because five-part harmonies is actually what makes up in sync. So right now, we'd like to start this next song with a little five-part harmony and then go into this song. Two, three, four. I lie awake, I try myself crazy, try myself crazy, thinking of you, made a mistake. Let you go, baby. I drive myself crazy. Wanting you the way that I do. Oh, 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 oh. I know. So close together.
that screen. That was a lot of your guys' videotapes from all around the world. So we want to thank all of you guys for sending your videotapes and letters and everything. All right, now, are you guys ready to dance? Let me hear you scream! We have that special someone, whether it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, or just your best friend, you know that God must have spent a little extra time on that person. So that's what we're going to sing about right now. Thank you. 
and dedicated to all of men. Because God must have spent a little more time on you.
cannot sleep My head is burning I feel cold down to my feet I wanna yell Somebody help Is there a cure for what I've got? Somebody tell me I need to love and
members of our band is right here on percussion cards. Everybody give it up for Paul Howard. 